Fox. Welcome to the Kerbal Weekly News for the week ending Saturday, October 12, 2024. Gil and Andrew are on assignment today, so I'm taking a solo turn. Uh, we had the Kerrville Tyvee High School Homecoming Parade this week, so I hope you were able to get out and check out uh, why people say Tyvee Fight Never Dies, TFND, and see the band and really experience what it's like to support Tyvee High School. Next up, the city has okayed the Heritage Center contract. The center is going to begin raising funds to pay for exhibits and operational costs. The Kerrville City Council approved the uh, contract, and it will be for not to exceed $5.2 million with Marksman General Contractors of San Antonio. The literal groundbreaking news came in a unanimously approving the contract and the grounds for the Heart of the Hill Heritage Center. It's been a long time coming, said Assistant City Manager and the point man on the project, Michael Horns. The idea for the Heritage Center began more than eight years ago, germinating with Bill Rector, Joe Herring, and other area residents who are passionate about the history of Kerrville and Kerr County and eager to get create a place to celebrate the region's history. The public funding includes about $4 million from the city, way up from, I think, what the original uh, was originally anticipated to be. Next up, uh, the Bluewood Apartment Complex has formalized an incentive agreement with the city of Kerrville uh, for the building of the apartment complex. It will be ne- near the Kerrville Sports Center on Holdsworth Drive off Caillou Boulevard. The Economic Development Incentive Agreement grants Bluewood a 10-year tax abatement not to exceed $520,000 and waivers from permit and development fees not to exceed four hundred and eighty. This follows Kerr County's lead in September in granting Bluewood development a 10-year $800,000 tax abatement. Bluewood will build a 273-unit apartment on the complex at a cost of $55 million. Developers estimate the apartments would add about $25 million in property value to existing tax entities. Current value of the undeveloped land is approximately $146,000. The timeline, the construction timeline itself, is scheduled to be in about um, 25 months. The Kerrville Folk Festival Welcome Home Fest kicks off this weekend, and it, it this year's attendees will have a chance to get up close and personal with an eclectic mix of artists, including folk, punk, fusion artists, Sonny War, the indie rock sound of Pale Hound, and classic country, <coughs> Melissa Carpenter, and others. The uh, Additionally, uh, there will be the Blue Hit and Cow and the Electric Joint. They're going to be playing at the Threadgill stage uh, for the Welcome Home Fest. And if you've never been to the Threadgill stage, uh, you really should take this opportunity to avail yourself of it. It is an intimate theater that is great for both the musicians and the audience. So check out the Welcome Home Fest at the Kerrville Folk Festival. The Hill Country Youth Orchestra We'll be having a high tea fundraiser on Saturday, October 19th. So that's next Saturday. If you, it is a great way to support the Hill Country Youth Orchestra. It's one of the top youth orchestras literally in the country, starting with kids as young as five and six and all the way through high school. It provides uh, instruments and education uh, at no charge to teach the wonders of orchestral music and students how to play orchestra instruments. It can lead to literally a lifetime love of music, but also a lifetime of working in this industry. So check out the Hill Country Youth Orchestra at hcyo.org for more information on the upcoming high tea. It will be held at the Museum of Western Art, so you have an opportunity to see the most recent exhibit and uh, listen to some great music. There'll be a great raffle and some other uh, prizes as well. So check out the Hill Country Youth Orchestra High Tea on September 19th. And our final story is the Rotary Club of Kerrville will be holding their annual 
Pints, Pumpkins, and Polio event to raise funds for polio eradication. It's Thursday, October 24th, and the goal is to raise $10,000 for uh, polio eradication efforts worldwide. The event this year will be held at the Dieter Center, and you can check out the Rotary website for more information on this most worthwhile cause to help eradicate a terrible disease. This is Tom Fox. I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Kerrville Weekly News Roundup. This podcast is a production of the Texas Hill Country Podcast Network. If you've enjoyed this podcast, I hope you will subscribe, rate, and review this podcast wherever great podcasts are listened to. I hope you'll join Gilbert, Andrew, and myself next week where we take a look at some of the top stories from Kerrville and the surrounding Hill Country area. Thanks so much for listening.